the element is probably one of the very best applications on this iPad. So here it is. Okay. This is the Theodore Gray, the elements application. Um, in fact, it comes as two applications. You've got the molecules application, which also comes uh, separately. But uh, you can go back to the elements application. And it's got all of the elements of the periodic table. But what it also has is a lot of information regarding each of the elements. And also, uh, in fact, let's get to the first element, hydrogen. Click on hydrogen and see what sort of information there is. So first of all, it's got an animated or a moving picture. Okay, it's showing the the, the 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 where hydrogen is mostly found. It's what it's in fact hydrogen is the most abundant uh, element in the universe, and the reason being that um, hydrogen is the first element to form in the stars. Uh, I'll just give you some basic statistics. Um, for example, its percentage in the universe universe is seventy five percent. Seventy five percent that's three quarters of the entire universe is just hydrogen. In the sun, the sun itself is seventy five percent hydrogen. Okay, so the sun is three quarters of the sun is just hydrogen. In the crust of the earth it's only zero point one five percent. In the ocean it's eleven percent. And in humans, you and me are about 10% hydrogen, okay? So that's the amount of hydrogen there is in a human being, okay? So one of the things that you can do with the app, okay, after going through uh, these statistics here, okay, I'm going to click on Wolfram Alpha, okay? Wolfram Alpha is um, a really good... Uh, website with a lot of information on different uh, things for example um, it's given us information about hydrogen the symbol is H the atomic number is one the atomic mass is 1.00794 uh, unified atomic mass units or U okay so that gives us further information on hydrogen Magnetic type is diamagnetic, color is colorless, refractive index is 1.0000132, reactivity, atomic properties, um, abundances, okay, in the universe, we've already talked about that, 10% in human beings, 75% in the universe, 75% uh, in the sun, for example, it's stable, as in terms of its um, nuclear properties, okay. Uh, isotopes, it's got the H1 isotope, which forms 99.985%. And then the 2H and the 3H, okay. So, this is where you can get more information. And each of the elements is going to have that. Okay, so let's go to this here okay that there takes you to the other application I was talking about and here you can see an animation or you can see um, where hydrogen could be applied for example okay so if we click on there that takes us back that should take us back to the So all I need to do is uh, go back to here. Okay. Molecules. So that's all the molecules, but we're gonna go back to the elements up. Otherwise it's gonna make us pay again. Okay. So one of the elements that I like to, that is quite um, dramatic, is uh, the nitrogen, OK? 
okay so that's the nitrogen uh, percentage in the universe 0.1 percent in the sun 0.1 percent in the crust 0.002 percent in the ocean 0.00050 percent in humans 2.6 percent is nitrogen there is no element okay most of these elements which are here you will find that there is a small percentage in humans except this one is none okay so rhenium is none because it's radioactive let's look at um sulfur okay 0.2 percent is uh, in humans uh let's look at it'll be interesting to check on gold okay gold where is gold gold is au so we can just type in gold here if we're struggling to find it it's easier to do that so there is gold and there is 0 0.000010 percent gold in a human being that is quite interesting isn't it so we all have a little gold in our in our bodies okay let's have a look at um what we can do with gold so gold is both valuable and exceptionally easy to work starting with a rolling mill a small piece of gold can be flattened into sheets of remarkable size a single ounce can eventually be beaten out to 300 square feet of gold leaf literally a few tens of atoms thick okay so there you are now there's a lot that we can learn from uh, these elements okay at the end there you've got einsteinium okay es and there's none in humans so you know we all know um, albert einstein and his theory and these two theories of uh, general relativity and the special theory of relativity okay so this basically is the Elements Up by Theodore Gray. There is a song as well. Quite a good one. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium. I'm going to skip this song because I don't want to play too much of this song. Copyright issues and stuff like that. Okay. So if there are any questions concerning this or if there's an application that you like me to look at please feel free to say so uh, basically these are all of the elements that i'm using some of them not as much as others okay so it'll be interesting to go through any of these Okay, so I will see you in the next video.